What's up everyone? I'm Ryofu and this is The Gaming Harbinger. Today I wanted to talk about the mini gaming grip by Satisfy. The reason why I decided to do this video is because I really love the Satisfy products and I considered getting one initially because I did support the original grip for the Switch. Uh, I supported the Kickstarter, but I saw this and I thought, you know, I don't really need this because I have the Pro Controller, I have a wired controller, you know, what would be the reason for me needing this? But I also thought in the back of my head, when I played with the Joy-Cons, it really wasn't comfortable for me. And I don't have big ass meaty hands, you know? So it's like, it stayed in the back of my mind. And and up until recently, I decided what the heck, I'm gonna go ahead and get it. I already have the case that came with an additional grip. So technically I have two grips and now I have a mini gaming grip. So I thought, why not? Let's check this out and see what it's about. There's no denying that the Nintendo Switch wouldn't have been conceptualized without the creation of the Wii U. The Wii U gave birth to this idea, to this belief. However, we have to give props where props are due. The whole Joy-Con plus grip combo is an ingenious concept just super ingenious. With that being said, however, it isn't super comfortable for some people. And I will say some people because that's not everyone. There are quite a few people I know that don't have a pro controller and they're just fine. They play with the Joy-Con grip combo and no complaints. In fact, that was how I was introduced to the controller. This grip is super comfortable and it only costs $20 and I don't think that's too shabby. I mean, this thing is super comfortable. In fact, it reminded me how much battery life you get out of the Joy-Cons. Yeah, they are kind of expensive, but those suckers last. I mean, the battery life is pretty damn good on a Joy-Con. And just like the original Satisfy grip, this thing is durable, so you don't have to baby it or anything. Upon unboxing your Satisfy Mini Gaming Grip, you will get a message from Satisfy pretty much thanking you for purchasing the product and you can register at this website and you pretty much have X amount of time for your warranty. The other thing you'll get is thumb pads for your analog sticks, which I had these from the original grip that I purchased which I just went ahead and slapped these suckers on, no big deal. Now, once you take out the grip, the first thing you'll notice is that the centerpiece is pretty much identical, but you do have these two red notches sticking out, and this is identical to the original grip. Also, you'll notice that that little protruding part, the infamous protruding part, mind you, with the Satisfy logo, and this adds that level of comfort, the little ergonomics that the original grip had. Now, the left side of the Satisfy grip is a little bit bigger than the original left side. However, obviously the right side is much bigger and then the center is pretty much identical. The other thing I wanted to point out was that I was a sucker and I saw a Link Power A grip and I decided what the hell I'll purchase this thing. Well this one is actually noticeably larger in the center but the left and the right side are very 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 slightly bigger than the original. However when you flip over to the back you will notice that this texture is similar to how the Satisfy grips feel. And it kind of keeps it from 
you know the controller from sliding out of your hands which i do like that aside from that this power a grip and aside from the actual aesthetic of having link on it there's nothing super amazing about it but i felt like it is worth pointing out that they do have the same you know textures in the back and it is this one is oddly slightly thicker in the middle but that with that being said is it more comfortable than the satisfy one of course not and is it more comfortable than the original grip uh slightly and in that regard i was a little disappointed because when i purchased it i expected it to be a noticeable difference and it really wasn't so the final verdict is should you purchase this i would say not everyone should purchase this it's for a specific demograph it's for a certain audience and that audience may be the one that's like i don't want a lot of accessories and the pro controller is too expensive and maybe you don't want a wired one while i do own a lot of accessories for the nintendo switch i'll be honest and say i haven't tried every single controller out so just bear that in mind there could be something that maybe i've overlooked or flew under my radar if i were to rank this controller i would say you know the grip you know when you combine it with the joy cons as far as a controller i would rank it probably in third place so at the very top i would say we have the pro controller then second is probably the satisfy grip with your nintendo switch you know handheld then we have this thing the mini gaming grip and I guess in fourth, maybe we would put like a Power A <laughs> a wired controllers or wireless, I guess, as well. And then maybe in dead last, I, my personal opinion, I would put the Joy-Cons, you know, attached to the default Nintendo grip. And can you play games this way? Sure. But I think, I guess it really depends on the size of your hands. And I don't have no big ass meaty hands. Like I said before, I have, I guess you would say medium sized hands. So I, I can't even imagine people that have much bigger hands than me, what, how they feel about it. They probably really don't like, you know, just the size of playing with the joy cons attached to the default grip. Cause it's not comfortable for me either. So there you have it. That's pretty much how I feel about this thing. Um, I like buying accessories and testing stuff out, so it wasn't a really hard decision for me to get this. Well, how often will I use it? Uh, occasionally. Maybe it'll make for something good to throw in my bag whenever I'm, you know, traveling and I'm playing at a friend's house and, you know, I, we're short of controllers and then I could just detach mine from my switch and slap this sucker on there and then boom i have a comfortable controller that's about gonna do it guys it's been fun i appreciate you for checking out this video please leave a like please subscribe we do videos like this occasionally we also do reviews of video games anime weeb shit whatever your heart desires until next time i'll see you in the next video